Hey besties, welcome back to our channel. Today we'll be continuing our Dip 101 series and showing you how to apply dip powder from start to finish. This video is perfect for those of you who want to offer the service to your clients and for those of you who want to try dip powder at home. If you don't know what dip powder is or need a refresher, click the link above to watch part one of the series. Now without further ado, let's get to dipping. As we covered in our Dip 101 video, Dip is applied with a system of powder and glazes that are used for a nail enhancement. Today I'll be using the Kiara Sky Dip Powder Color Kit. I love it because it comes with everything you need in easy to use packaging and it's the best of the best on the market. All of the glazes are numbered right on the side of each bottle and it helps you remember what order they're applied in. I'm going to be applying dip powder directly on my client's natural nails because she's trying to grow them out. Dip is perfect for that because of the added vitamins and calcium. I'm going to start by pushing back my client's cuticles and remove any dead tissue on the nail. And now I'll remove the shine from the natural nail using my hand file. For this, I'm going to mainly focus on the cuticle and edges of the nails. As with any service, prepping the nail is key. For a full video on how to properly prep the nail, click on the link above. Since I'm not using tips today, I'm also going to do a little shaping here. My client has chosen an almond, which is great for a natural nail look. Now that we're all prepped and ready to go, I'm going to grab my bond and apply it to the natural nail. Notice the bottles are all numbered, which is great for beginners. Bond dehydrates the nail and removes any oils that cause lifting. I'm going to grab my base and apply it to 3 fourths of the nail and dip into the natural powder. Anytime that you apply the base, you want to make sure that you're applying thin, even layers so that the application is nice and smooth. Natural powder is important because it's the base to build up the strength of the nail. The natural powder looks a lot like the clear powder, but once applied, you can see a big difference between them. Ready for another pro tip? Dust, dust, dust. Use a soft fluffy brush to remove excess powder after every dip. Now I'm going to grab my color. My client has chosen high maintenance. This color is so beautiful. I'm going to apply the base a hairline away from my client's cuticle and dip straight into the color. Here's a little pro tip. When you're applying your base, be sure to have your dip powder ready to go as the base dries quickly. When dipping the nail into the powder, it is important to dip at a 45 degree angle. I personally like to shake the jar from side to side just slightly so that the powder can fall into the nail instead of just pushing the nail into the powder. Now I'm going to apply the base to the entire nail and dip into my color once more. You might notice that I'm gradually getting closer to the cuticle with each layer. That is to prevent the cuticle area from getting bulky. Here's another pro tip. Always brush parallel to the nail to ensure the brushes don't poke or indent the powder. Now it's time for the clear layer. I'm going to grab my recycling system for this. I'll grab my base and apply it to the entire nail, grab my clear and pour over. And now that the clear has been caught by my second scoop, I'll grab it and use it on my next nail. Super easy, right? Clear powder is an important step because it's going to protect the gorgeous pigment when it comes time to file. It's extremely important to use the recycling system when applying the clear because if it's dipped straight into the clear, it might get pigments of this beautiful color and contaminate it. I don't want to waste any of my product. Once the clear has been applied, it's time for number three, Seal Protect. This is what's going to activate the powders. Without Seal Protect, the nail will never dry. You'll know that this layer is dry when you tap on it. If you hear that little clink sound, the nail is dry and ready to move on to your next step. File, shape, and buff. As many of you have requested, I won't be using my e-file today, only my medium grit hand file and a buffer block. I like to start with shaping the side walls and free edge. And then I go back and file the surface of the nail. I like to focus on the area around the cuticle and shaping the apex. Then I'll focus on the sides until I'm happy with a nice round shape. Now I'm going in with my buffer just to smooth out the nail. Now, once I'm happy with it, I'm going to wipe the nails off with a little alcohol just to remove any dust from the filing. I'm gonna grab my number three, Seal Protect, again, and really saturate the nail to make sure it's cured well. Now this next step is super important and sometimes gets overlooked. I'm gonna grab a lint-free wipe and really rub into the nail to remove excess Seal Protect. If you don't do this, then your top coat will look nice and shiny and your brush is going to harden. I'm gonna apply the number four, top coat, with quick, thin strokes and let it dry. I like to apply this to the rest of the nails and by the time I come back, it'll be nice and dry. Now I'm going to apply top coat again with quick, thin strokes and allow it to dry for two minutes. Here's another pro tip. Wipe your top coat brush on a lint-free wipe before returning it to the bottle. That'll keep your brush fresh and clean. I always like to finish my manis by applying Nourish Oil to the cuticles and rubbing it in. And now we have a finished set. 
I love using the Kara Sky Dip System because it's so easy to use. Now that I have the application down, it only takes me 20 to 30 minutes to do an entire set. How crazy is that? I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any other questions, leave me a comment down below. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when we have videos just like this one. See you next time, besties. Bye.